Barbara Streisand. Hey guys, it's Jonah here, and welcome to Homebrew Wednesday. Um, I know I say it every time, <laughs> but it is going to be a short one this week. Um, things, uh, things are happening outside the world of YouTube, which I uh, can't go into. Um, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> this one's going to be a bit short. Uh, short and sweet for a change. Just like me. <laughs> um, so what do we got? Hops. Yes. Hops in a box. Um, I checked up on the, uh, the hop seeds um, that are in the fridge at the moment. And they have been there for three weeks, I think. Is it three? Three? Maybe four? No, three weeks. I think three and a half. We'll, we'll meet. We'll meet halfway. Um, and I had a quick check on them. You're supposed to check on them every week to get the uh, the oxygen change and all that kind of stuff. Nothing. Uh, no reaction yet. Um, however, I was speaking to a few people. Uh, beer lover, you're out there, brother. Um, who's done it in the past? Um, and he said he just left his, forgot about it, and they, they grew like Billio. We've also got a little hop update on the cuttings, which is going to be happening soon. But before we get there, I thought uh, I'd update you on my, uh, my build, my stir plate build, which um, thank you very much once again to Norfolk Hillbilly, Shaman for getting me motivated, because I, I've been wanting to do this for a while, um, but haven't got round to it. So this Easter, I have got things kind of together. There you go, there's a project box. Hey, and look, there's, a, there's even a lead coming out of it. Had a few problems, and I will do a video on exactly how I built this. If I can open it up without it going everywhere. There we go. Oy. See there, we got my um, my fan with uh, magnets mounted on, um, and those of you who've got very good eyes can see that there's one on top of the other. And trying to glue these down was, <laughs> let's say, hard. Um, and I, I found once I got the first ones down, the second ones, because they're really strong, rare earth magnets I used. Um, yeah, they work really well. Obviously this thing's been mounted in a cage, and if I turn it around this way, I've got the old potentiometer on there, so I can actually control the speed. Um, and I think, it's not quite finished yet, I'm still waiting for the stir bars and stuff. Um, knowing what I know now, I reckon you could build one of those for about under 20 quid, under. I spent a bit more than that because I had to order other bits and bobs which I didn't have. But I think I'm still gonna be looking 30, 30 quid for my one. Um, and as I say, if, if I built it again, I've got a lot of the parts you had to buy, like nuts and bolts, you have to buy hundreds of. You can't just buy like four bolts, you have to buy like 10 or 25 or something. Ridiculous. Um, so yeah. If anyone's interested in doing a stir plate build, or if you want me to build you one, and I will do it for a small fee, <laughs> I now have the majority of the parts, and I have the knowledge more than anything else of how to do it. Um, so yeah, look out for that video. I was gonna do a few shout outs to people. That'll wait till next week. If you subscribe to me over the last week or over the weekend, I will be giving you thanks. And thank you to all my regular subscribers. Um, but let's have a look at the hop update. I think you guys are gonna be impressed with this. Hey guys, just a, a bit of a hop update. Wow, it might be, might be more than that actually. Um, unfortunately, the big long one at the back, that died. But the rest of them, you can see, green, 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 green. The ones around the back are green. But the reason why I'm doing this hop update today is check this bad boy out. <laughs> Look at those roots, man. Yaman, yeah, back to me roots. So, got to be really careful with those roots. This one as well, not so good, but 
See, that's got at least one root. Can you see a little one there? So this one is the mad root one. You can even see them through the side of the bottle. I mean, check that bad boy out. That is proper rooted out. The other ones are gonna need maybe another week, but this bad boy is gonna go in the ground. So let's go into the garden and we'll talk about planting some hops out. Okay guys, so we're outside in the garden. Uh, hey, thumbs up to you. Um, and there's my trusty old um, trusty old trowel, I'm gonna dig a hole. The reason why it doesn't sound like I'm outside is because I had to re-record this because um, of the wind noise. So, bear up. look at all those, man, look at those roots on that bad boy. That's gonna do really well, I reckon. Um, and if you're wondering, the uh, the potting compost I'm using is John Innes and another one which I can't remember <laughs> the name of, um, but it's quite a fibrous one. And I mix that all up with some a handful of bone meal um, for food. So I want to give my little hot baby um, every chance in life. Hey, look, and I'm even using the water, recycling that stuff. Um, so I want to give it every chance in life. And if you're wondering why I've stuck it right at one end of the planter, guess what? It's because I've got at least three other viable ones that I know about. I'm going to put them, all three of them, into that one planter. Uh, look at that. See the bottle there? It says single hop variety. I think that's classic. Right, let's have a look at some photos. Um, yeah, look there. There he is. The old bad boy. Um, and there's another little one for you. It's my little baby. <laughs> Shum on. So there we go. It is possible to take hop cuttings. And from the six that started, I have root growth on three out of the six in two and a half weeks. Yeah. The other two, one died. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, the other two, not sure how they're going to go. They're still green. They've got green leaves. So we're going to leave them and see what happens. But I've got a feeling that I've got about half. So I've got three. So if one of those is a female, um, at least, <laughs> and hopefully it is, um, if I've got three male plants, I'll be annoyed. But hey, never mind, you know, it's an experiment in gardening. <laughs> so I think that's really cool anyway, that it is viable to take, take a six pack of beers with water in down to the local hop, uh, hop farm, <laughs> au naturel, take some cuttings, and you can get your own hops from there. Let's see how well they do. Um, but yeah, will I try it next year? Well, hey, why not? One last thing before I go. I want to say a big thank you to Scoosy67. Uh, Martin, you sent me a message um, Tuesday morning and it made the difference to me, brother. So thank you very much. Um, I won't go into detail. You know what it was about. Um, but yeah, it gave me a bit of inspiration. So thank you very much, Martin. And thank you to the others who've been kind of keeping me sane over the last week or so. Guys, it's been my pleasure um, to be in your living room, on your mobile, on your PC, maybe even on your laptop. <laughs> this has been Uncle Jonah. See you soon for more beer, more, uh, more wrongness. We'll see you next time. Take care, guys. <laughs>